Hi there. I'm a novice runner, uh, a physician learning to run long distances. And this is my review of the On Cloud Surfer after 350 kilometers. Three years ago, I was losing. Uh, I was on a weight loss uh, journey, um, and I was looking for a, a pair of running shoes, proper running shoes, because after having lost 30 kilograms, uh, there was another challenge for me, which was a charity run for my my old school, uh, my very first uh, school in Thailand before I went to the UK, uh, Bangkok Christian. So it was a 10 kilometers, 11 kilometers run at the end. They put out, it was 10 initially, and then uh, it turns out to be 11. So anyway, I was looking for a new pair of shoes, running, running shoes, proper running shoes, and I came across these ons. So what really got, onto, uh, really got me hooked onto them was three things, really. Um, a Swiss brand. Everything's, you know, Swiss, Swiss. Um, it's so the, the technology, you know, Swiss technology, everything's so immaculate. So, yeah, uh, the design and obviously the, the, the pods itself, the design, meaning the colors and the, the color range that, and, um, you know, that was available. And I, I like, I'm a guy who likes uh, of bright shoes. And uh, so these really caught my eyes. So um, I bought them without even really sort of reading any reviews of them because of the three things the looks basically <clears throat> and the run went well a uh, pretty stiff ride actually but I wasn't really paying any attention uh, my goal was to get to run 11 K's without stopping uh, so I, there was some water station I just you know quickly trot and just yeah continue you know picked up the drinks and just continue finish that well my next run of those shoes were were a couple of uh, mini mini marathons and then an ultra an ultra marathon me and, and my wife uh, ran it was 14 k's it was just uh, the, the 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 least amount of distance we we were still at our infancy period of, of running and then so after completing those those runs especially the the ultra uh, the next race was the Kankan international Mar marathon the annual so we'd like to have a go and uh, you know the 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 it was a proper race it's an international race uh, qualifying for uh, Boston and Tokyo and London but you know for us no that's that's a long uh, we're no way elite but anyway the distance were there, and we we spoke about it. Are we going to run the, the the mini or the uh, or the fun run? She said, "No, let's go for the uh, you know half marathon. Let's step it up." So yeah, we stepped it up. Fin um, did the the half marathon last year, and uh, I struggled with these ons. Struggled. Um, after going back to the ultra marathon, anything. After 10 Ks, the shoe became really heavy, and it is. The shoe itself is very heavy. You know, uh, it's 280 something grams, comparing to the Salcony that I have now and the the Asics DS trainers, which is only what um, seven pounds or seven ounces. Sorry, not seven pounds, seven ounces or uh, in that range. But these shoes are like nine nine ounces, so they're pretty heavy. And and you know once you get into those later stages of the races your legs are heavy and then you know with these clogs on it feels like clogs you know actually I struggled um, Konkan Marathon International Marathon uh, Konkan is a hilly place it's situated in the northeast of Thailand 400 kilometers uh, northeast of Bangkok it's a hilly area and especially the last 
10 Ks. You're talking about, I'd say about 15 degrees in, 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 in the, the, uh, the slope, the elevation. And especially when you're inside the Konkan University going up, once you get the, once we, we, we head into the university, it's a dip here, downhill and then right up. I think it's about, I'd say about 30, exaggerating, I'd say about 30 degrees elevation up. It's crazy. And you know, that's going up towards the finishing line. And you know, it's like you're running on reserve. And I ri literally, I was grabbing hold of any, you know, anybody who's got sprays, my legs, my legs were like, you know, but uh, yeah, we finished. I finished uh, two hours and 19 minutes, which is, you know, my very first uh, half marathon. Uh, I was pretty pleased and I, I struggled with the shoes. And um, you know, it was there was pain around my ankles, and and my the plantar surface really felt numb. Anyway, coming back to the shoe itself, you know, my likes. I have a after you know running that uh, last year, I tapered off these uh, the, the shoes, the, these bad boys, and I hardly used them. And having after having finished the the race, the marathon. I went back to the uh, uh, to reviews, you know, reviews on the internet about these shoes, and I, I came across uh, a Road Trail Run uh, website, a very good website, and and uh, a, a blogger, uh, Dr. Derek Lee, fellow fellow physician, Singaporean. He's a marathon, uh, a, a top marathon runner, um, and these guys, you know, they're proper qualified. Uh, people to review these shoes and I looked at it and yeah they're more or less the same um, they were saying that yep it, it's a good it's a good fitting shoe good si uh, you know good size very comfortable but to run in them struggle and um, I came across run repeat another another website that that reviews on, on running shoes same thing and my Likes. So I came up with these lists of mine, my my own personal uh, um, likes and dislikes, and here are some of 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 uh, my uh, point of views. So the likes, the likes is obviously, yeah, the Swiss brand, you know, being Swiss, and you got the Swiss flag on it, uh, the size and the fitting. I wear size US 12, so 11 UK which is very hard to find here in, in Thailand. So with these shoes, I was really surprised that I have to downsize. I had to downsize these shoes. I'm wearing, I was wearing 11 and a half US, 11, uh, 10 and a half UK. And I usually struggle with 10 and a half UK. Uh, so yeah, that was the, the good side of it. And plenty of space on the toe box. It's really nice. And the upper, the upper mesh, here in Thailand, the humidity, these shoes really, the breathability of it is really, really, you know, it's, it really helps and uh, it, it keeps the, uh, the feet sort of cool, you know, and uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my like uh, of these shoes. Now, the dislike, here comes the dislike, obviously the price, very dear, it's about 7000 but ish, uh, you got to convert that into dollars and pounds or whatever, and then obviously the um, the laces. There's a lot of people that comment about the laces. I, you know, I, I what I like about them is yeah, they're plenty. It's it's really long, but the thing is they're so thin, they're so thin, and I struggled uh, tying them up and tying them up. They're still loose, double knotted, but then it keeps coming off. The shoes, the laces keep coming off somehow, even with double knots, it comes off. It just slides off. So you have to stop and, and you know, you have to stop in the middle of your run, retie your shoes, which is a bit, you know, and, and, and with, with the knot that's left, I don't have any nails. You have to try and get, you know, get hold of and, 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 and unknot, the, unknot the, uh, the knots, which is really hard. And then... The next thing is the uh, the ride itself. It's pretty pretty firm, pretty firm. And you know they say okay in the in the commercial it says yeah it's like running on clouds. The 
the, the pod will spring itself off, but in reality, no, it's really hard. A really, really hard ride. And um, for, for a mini run, for a gym shoe, yes. Or for a daily walking shoe, yes. But not for a proper long distance or middle-ish to a long distance uh, run, I would not recommend it to anyone, you know, uh, because you will struggle and you will get pain around the uh, the arch and the forefoot like uh, well I experienced it anyway and then the next thing is the um, the pods itself the pods the stones uh, you know these I run these I use the uh, these on on road runnings and you get these st small stones pebbles that get stuck in the, uh, the not the pod itself but the groove within between the, the pods and it's really hard, you know, and you, you, it's annoying when you, you run and you hear all these click, 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 click. So it's, you know, that's the dislike. And another thing is um, the traction. The traction itself, and I experienced this during my runs, the ultra run, the, the, the half marathons. Uh, obviously with the water station, everybody spits out, you know, it's pretty wet. The ground surface is pretty wet. So you try and take off and you get that, 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 um, free wheeler you know it's slippery the rubber itself is very uh, very firm it's very yeah it's strong it's stern very stern you know um, after 350 k's that it, it hasn't worn off worn off that uh, that much the the rubber the the outer rubber so yeah those are my my likes and dislike but that's my my opinion my experience with these shoes the looks are great Design's great. It's it's unique in, in innovation itself. You know the cloud, but I'd say if if for a long distance run, I'd say you may be you, you may be having to you may have to look for, at, at another model of of uh, of ons. Maybe uh, there are other um, versions, but for the surfer, no. And for me, I'm 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 done with clouds. I'm done with on. You know, and uh, I'm passing it on to my mate. Uh, he's he's ready to to continue the uh, the mileage. You know, so yeah, this is my third English vlog, I think. So I'm I'm, I'm trying to catch up uh, on on the English uh, version, having to do Thai and then you know and having work. So it's it's a lot going on. So bear with me. Uh, I'll try and. Uh, fill in as much as I can in English so yes thank you for for watching and I hope um, you, you enjoy um, this this vlog and um, yeah don't forget to hit the like button smash the subscribe and the the bell there for notification thank you for following and uh, hope to see you again thank you I'll see you again soon bye